This is a site regarding the cash home power unit testing in Sweden. As we can see, this page is dedicated published testing results done on the power home unit bought from the cash foundation web shop. Delivery time is January 8th, 2016. First time connect was done 10th of January. The testing is done in a small house with very limited house wire grid. From the central grid connection meter housing, there's two wall sockets. Just a 2 meter standard house wire to each socket. And each socket has a 220 volt 10 amp fusing for a total of 2200 watts from each socket. We use one of these two sockets for test of the power unit. And it shows the setup there. Okay, so after doing a 21 day conditioning with this setup, maybe the next step will be to do the same thing on the other wall socket. We we'll have to ask advice from other users before this decision. From the wall socket, we connect to a simple volt amp watt meter. Then from there to the load sockets, five sockets on the input side of the power unit. So we see those five sockets here, and we see the three load sockets. For the stand, uh, Swedish standard, where you can connect any load plug two ways, 180 degrees turn, I see no way to determine any live plug for devices connected as load. So for this issue, we just make sure to record the orientation for any new load, and make sure it will always be connected with that same orientation. Anytime you disconnect or connect a given load to the system. On April 2nd, he has a watt meter reduction of 12%, an electric bill reduction of 37%. And he talks about how that was, cal shows how that was calculated. He concludes the boost from 21% to 37% savings is probably due to the 1320 watt load, which is now on the input really gets the benefit from the 518 watt load on the output. He speculates that running a full month with this load will get toward a 50% savings. He says it's pretty clear now the watt meter readings are no not good for evaluating savings. Just like the cash guy said from the beginning. <laughs> the little smiley. And the next step he says we'll just connect the mag grab to the second phase and get the nano coding going on in those wires. The watt meter is taken out of scope. It will just be the electric bill to monitor the savings. What he's done step by step and is on the old manual. The new uh, system, which is the second generation, you just connect the load up to 500 watts at your box, the blue system, and you connect the plug into the main, and that's all you need to do. And then, um, we have tested this in Emirates, and it works very, very fast and very fine. You see, start seeing reduction directly from the first day. And then, when, uh, how quickly can you load it up with the full load after you start off with 500 for a couple of weeks? Or something? You don't need. You actually you load up with 500 to start the system, and after 30, 60 days, you bring your load down to 200 watt. You don't need to go any further. The system is, uh, uh, what you call it, self-setting. The new, the new configuration, you don't need to add any more load or reduce any more load. To start with, you put a 500 watt on, and then uh, after 30 days, 60 days, you reduce it to 150, 200 watt. Mm -hmm. but, uh, you set in the house and you start seeing the saving. Okay. It's, we, sorry about that, just let me tell you something, we, we, we have confirmation from the Chinese group. The Chinese, in the, the group in China has managed to achieve 80% reduction over the testing time. We just received the information this morning. So, one of the groups in China running their system now achieved 80% reduction for, on the electricity bill. So, as you let the system go further, it works more efficient and you use the system directly. You got to remember three things, that uh, your power supply provides a DC with a balance on the plasma DC, not on an electron vibration DC. And uh, you have the possibility of using the system 
as adapter for elect any electric uh, system, be it the 210, 220, or 110, 120 voltage. The good thing is we're getting more and more people in the coming week, next couple of weeks, the Keshe Foundation, from the sales point of view, will send the uh, application form, a UF form, to all the people who bought the system to give us an update, what they've seen, what reduction they've seen. So we start to piling in the information for actual bills of the houses, people who bought the units and installed the units in their houses. There's over a thousand plus which we can call upon to start gathering data. Then over a thousand units, we look at the, what do you call, the data, the balance data. How much they saved in the first month, how much they saved the second month. At the moment, uh, we are looking at the setup, which uh, Giovanni has done in his uh, house. He's like many people at the moment with uh, what they call it, solar cells on the roof as a power supply because solar cells supply the energy during the daytime. It becomes mainly your supplier. But at nighttime, your meter on the wall, which comes from the uh, electricity board, is your supplier. What we have seen from the test, he started the test at night. So in the first hour, I think he saw 12% something reduction. And in the first 12 hours, we saw around 20 plus reduction. But then when the data came in and the solar cells became supplier, the energy saving dropped to 7 to 8%. And this carries on about the same. Am I correct? No one is here. It's just about the same. And now what it does, the system is now coating the solar cells at the moment. So you get a different reading nighttime when you get your supply, but your system now has found a way to feed. So we want to see how long will go before the whole uh, solar cells are nano coated, and then what figures of production we see. Because when this happens, it's not just to see the reduction in the electricity bill, but is to see the increase in the solar cells supply into the grid during the daytime. Because you have records of past months, years, you've been putting electricity in the, in the grid. Now that the plasma is nano-coating your solar cells, now you can see if it becomes more efficient, if you're supplying more. So, in a way, you're earning more money out of your system. You understand? This is what, what we got to look for. Yeah? So, it's not just looking at the reduction at night, but seeing the increase in your supply into the grid as a solar, because you have a license, this when they sold you the cell, the panels, is for you to become a supplier. But now you're going to see if you were supplying, let's say, 3 kilowatt a day, during the certain hours, and if compared, because it's very hard to make a comparison because some days are not the same as last year, but you're going to see if your supply into the grid is goes higher, which means now your nanocoating becomes more efficient in the solar cells, so you earn more money with what you supply. So you become a more efficient supplier. So we are looking at two sides, not what the reduction you get, yeah, but if the day wattage supply has gone up, which compensates two ways. So not only you get a reduction, but you're getting more pay from the, what do you call it, the electricity board for putting more energy in. This is a very good test because this gives us a very good opportunity to be able to make solar cells farms more efficient. Here in this site, we have a huge farm, a solar cell farm just outside. So we can add to the system and see you produce more than you are. So these kind of things we see, this is exactly what we were we said from the beginning. But as I said, the proof of the pudding is in eating it and now 
we see the results are coming back. The pudding is very delicious. If you're paying a thousand euro per month electricity bill, and you save yourself 370 euro, is not bad. Especially for some houses, even if you bring that to a thousand euro a year electricity bill, 370 electricity bill is quite a bit. Um, so it makes a difference. This is more or less what we've seen in line in Middle East, in our testing in, in Abu Dhabi. And new systems are coming up as we send more systems across the, what they call it, mass production position. So it is those of people who went out to destroy the, what do you call it, the work of the magnet systems because it was beneficial to them. Now they've seen is exactly opposite what we were preaching. This is our job, to put the system in work, to put the system to show. It takes time to break through new technologies. In the past, there was one man, maybe he sold a few pieces here and there and disappeared. This time is a whole of the human race. We work as one team, we are putting it out. And don't forget, there are thousands and thousands of units made by people themselves, which we don't know. They build their own system in their houses. Housewives have built their own systems. In Africa, we know they're building their own systems every day. So this has two-way cut. This, a lot of people haven't realized. As we go into mass production, as we go into further mass production, as more people are more add to their system, the bill energy saving is one side of it. The other side of it is what we do not need to destroy. What we do not need, showing something else on the thing. What we do not need to uh, actually uh, build to destroy more, to have more energy. I did a calculation for a government very recently. If you put in 10% of the people's houses, the Maghreb units, or increase it to 20 to 25% in the next 12 months, two years, if we can meet the demand to produce, there is a number of power stations which does not need to be built that puts the government and the nation into debt. This is the biggest saving. The saving doesn't come. Governments like United Arab Emirates governments are considering nuclear power stations, even though they are petroleum countries. But you commission a nuclear power station, and then you spend billions and billions in decommissioning it. We don't have the technology to decommission. So every power station we reduce by not being built, not only we don't add to the what we call the poisoning of the air, we don't take more out of the earth to burn, we don't put the nation on the death. The depths of the countries comes from huge industrial investments. Power stations are one of the biggest burdens financially on any nation. So if we can promote this ethos that more and more people they start making more efficient use of plasma. Now, then we'll see, not only we save on energy, we save on electricity bill, not only the nation saves on importing fuel, but the nation saves money in investing to build power stations. This is the bigger problem than anybody can think, because at the moment, even in Italy, they charge you for electricity, as Giovanni was telling me, for what you use, plus they charge you a fix for power stations in England, they charge you for line usage, the companies which create the power lines. These all disappears. These all literally become irrelevant because now we don't produce these wastage, we don't use the, produce these power stations to have these kind of burdens. As I said, the European nations, a number of them have stopped looking at the Keshe Foundation power supply very closely in past month or two. 
because the results confirm the correctness. 